Mario is here with an early platformer, and that platformer is Bobby is Going Home for your Atari 2600 with artwork that looks like it could have been off the cover of a bootleg Dora DVD. Let's go ahead and take Bobby is Going Home, watch out for the grumpy old troll who lives under the bridge, pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Swiper, no swiping. Bobby is Going Home was most likely made by Bit Corporation and carries a copyright year of 1982, although my copy says it's from CCE and came in a Taiwan Cooper box. According to the manual, filled with some awesome English, leaping, leaping, and leaping, always happy, always cheerful, in little Bobby-colored world. Let not the rolling stones and naughty ponds bother you. Keep away from those troublesome birds and chickens. Let not the butterfly and ugly bat annoy you. Even that extremely tricky bridge can't stop you. Why not walk along the riverside to enjoy the green field and blue sky? In the song of joy, we shall help little Bobby to go home. Bobby is Going Home is an early multi-screen platformer for one player only and only has one mode of difficulty. In the game, you use a joystick to move and the button to jump. If you keep the button held down after you jump, you will jump again when you land. The goal of the game is to get home by passing seven screens without getting touched by something or falling into something. In the seven screens, you will need to avoid holes, gaps and broken bridges, magical bridges, chickens, butterflies, hawks, rolling stones, rocks, rose bushes, fountains, and the greatest nemesis of all retro gaming, the bat. If you pass all seven screens, you will arrive home before starting a new set of seven screens with similar setups but new colors. According to the manual, the game has 256 total screens. Scoring wise, you start the game with a thousand points and you get a thousand points for passing a screen and you get a thousand points for failing just to encourage you according to the manual. However, you are constantly losing points and 10 point intervals and the game starts immediately when you turn it on. Your game ends when you fail five times. Graphically speaking, this game is interesting as it's both ugly and oppressive at the same time. I like all the objects, even if some of them look unusual, and the different colors used in the screens, and how you have some objects moving in the background. Just to give you an idea of the ugly, impressive mix, there's a background that didn't make sense to me until I realized it was a train at a train station, which once I figured it out, was kind of cool. Sound and music wise, just like the graphics, this game is also a mix of both ugly and impressiveness. The jump sounds like a cross between a Donkey Kong jump and Woody Woodpecker's laugh. When you reach home, you get a nice two-part version of the 19th century song, Home Sweet Home, but during the game is constantly playing a version of the 19th century hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, which has some out-of-tune notes, but on the other hand, is not only in two parts, but when you jump, the main theme keeps on playing, which also is pretty impressive considering that in some retro games, the music would totally stop when sound effects get in the way. Overall, I liked it, especially for a 2600 game. Family friendly wise, this game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if released today, although Bobby does look like an elf wearing a skirt without any pants. At the time I researched on eBay, including shipping, copies with just a box were selling for $9 to $14. So what did I think of Bobby is going home? color me impressed because I thought this was a fun platformer for the 2600. I like the multiple screens, different colors, the difficulty, and the music, as well as the fact that there's a goal you can attain by actually getting home. The jumps are floaty, but at least you can move in the air. And there were times I found myself unable to avoid failure, but overall I really enjoyed Bobby is Going Home. So where am I going to rank Bobby is Going Home? Somewhere in the 30s, with some other solid and fun to play titles. I do like Bumper Bash more at 31, but I will put it over Gravatar at 32. So out of the 147 games I've now ranked on the 2600, Bobby is Going Home is jumping into the 32 position. Bobby is Going Home is a fun, unique platformer for the 2600. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please click like and subscribe and follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. I'm also a member of the Retro Junkies Network. At this time, I'd like to thank all my extraordinary Patreon supporters, including Sean, Joe, and Michael, who voted for me to review today's game. Thank you all. If you appreciate the work I do and enjoy my videos, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter by signing up at patreon.com slash gamer, starting at a single dollar a month. Not only will you help make videos like this possible, but you will also gain access to some exclusive content. I'd also like to thank Dubstep Dad from the Retro Obscura podcast podcast who recommended that I try this game out. Thank you, Dub. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and remember to let not the rolling stones and naughty ponds bother you.